Hello everybody, Matthew here from Wild Time with Matthew. Um, so in this con well in this enclosure behind me here, I had a call out just now and uh, for a little night error. Okay, so I caught the snake and I'm gonna go and release it tomorrow morning. So um, I wanna see if I can show you guys the snake. Okay. So yeah, let's see if I can spot him here. I'm gonna use my cop torch as a light because there is no light in the enclosure where did he go oh he's in that back corner like going he's right down in there can you see him all in there so he's tiny little guy probably about a few months old or so so yeah <laughs> so he's down there he's busy chilling so he... so that little night i was going to stay the night here with us I wasn't expecting eh, the call, but yeah, got it, did it. I uh, almost spent like probably an hour down there or something like that. Let me check my. Yeah, I spent like an hour. I spent an hour looking for a snake and eventually I found it. But oh, the snake is playing a little bit of cheekiness with me but when it came to the bag. So I used my grab stick to um, try and put him in the bag. And she was nice, he just was chilling there, a little bit confused and that. So what I ended up doing is putting him into the container without the bag. And then I actually nicked him whilst having him in the container with the lid off. So I nicked him, I picked up the bag, plonked him in, closed the bag, put the bag in the container, closed the container up and job done. Without getting bitten, I got psychotoxic venom. Okay, hinge fang snake, it's got um, round pupils, and of longest venom glands of any snake in the world, okay, and it's the only other species in South Africa that lays eggs, the way how to identify them is the upside down V on top of their head, and um, I'm probably going to get a video of me releasing the snake tomorrow. So you'll see it in better light. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> it's been quite fun of it. <laughs> Tiny little snake, small head. But since I come a little bit away from the head, like just about like that much away from the head with a grab stick. So I just walked my fingers up the snake while I still had the grab stick on him. And then bang, got him behind the head like this. This Grip here is what you use for hinge fang snakes, which is your adders and your rattlesnakes and that, besides your elapids and that. And also your boom slung doesn't have hinge fangs. Boom slungs and twig snakes or vine snakes have got back fangs, just like the herald and some other snakes. And then your mambas and your cobras and your rinkas have got fixed fangs which are in the front of the mouth, okay? And these guys have got hinge fangs. And this one, by the looks of it, probably is a male, little boy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, may I catch females, but now and then it's always a good thing to catch a little male or even a decent sized male as well. It's quite good. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Matthew out.